Remnants of the past still line the halls at the old Alexander Gibson Memorial School in Marysville. But members of the community are hard at work to revamp the historical building. The school is being transformed into a non-profit community center called the Ville Cooperative. Since launching in August, the inside of the school has been renovated and repurposed for several different activities, like a charity book sale, a martial arts center, and other events to get people moving. Cindy Doak taught the school for several years and says it's a positive change for the community. And once the switchover made, people seem to really be happy and using it and really happy that they have access to classes and different things that are so close and right in the community. The Ville's motto is learn, share, grow. And that's what the executive director, Jeff McFarland, hopes the community gets out of the new space. The end goal for the Vale is to create a place where everyone feels like they're at home, that uh, when they come through these doors that they're empowered to, uh, to use their assets for their community and help to change the narrative in our province. In addition to the activities, the Vale plans to act as a green space for Marysville, creating a community garden and a youth council to allow young people to have a voice. Many of the community members, like Doak, approve of the changes though they may have been torn up at first. I think they did the right thing. I think they did the right thing. I think, you know, uh, there just was too much that needed to be done to the old building to bring it up to standards to have children in it. And um, it's worth more changing with the time, right? You know, so I think what we've got here now offers a lot more to the children than what we had before. But it's great at the same time to see them using the school and see people coming and, and going in it, so. In a part of the city known for its heritage, the historic building that has been open since 1926 will have a modern look. For St. Thomas Journalism, I'm Jordan Mead Baxter.